Let's talk about Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford is back in the news again, back in the headlines again, and we're going to be talking about some of the things that people have been saying about Marcus Rashford. Now, let's crack into it. Let's start with the tweet from United Pedagram. I don't know why I can't pronounce that. Anyway, the way Marcus Rashford is being treated is absolutely disgusting. It's cruel. It's abuse. Marcus Rashford hits back on Twitter and says this, I appreciate your support. It is abuse and has been for months. Enough is enough. Now, people did not hold back, right? People didn't hold back. Mark Goldbridge had some things to say. Um, a lot of journalists had some things to say. We're going to be talking about that in this video right here. So, yeah, let's crack into it. So, first things first, roll the Mark Goldberg's clip. I might shock you here. I've got a lot to say on it, but I actually agree with Rashford on the abuse. What's happened to him? Is, is this the real Goldbridge or is it AI that's been told to be pro-Rashford? It's the real one. Look, it does hurt. In life, not everything is red and green. It's everything in between. And sometimes abuse is happening to Marcus Rashford. The problem here is criticism is not abuse. Saying you want to drop him, saying you want to sell him, it's not abuse to call somebody out for their performances, say they look like they can't be asked, say that they're overpaid, say that they want to be dropped, say that you'd sell them. That's not abuse. What is abuse is saying fuck off Rashford or Rashford's faking injury, calling him Trashford and stuff like that. There's different levels of abuse there, but that is unfounded, unfair and not right. Cursed. We are absolutely cursed. But what I will say is those players and Bruno Fernandes and Marcus Rashford can fuck off. Rashford comes on for 20 minutes and barely fucking runs. We're playing with 10 men again. Now, I think if you're in a football ground and Rashford misses a chance, you go, oh, fuck off, Rashford. That's not abuse. That's just instant passion. So, Marcus Rashford is being painted as the bad guy right now. He's like the boogeyman right now. He's the odd man out at the moment. It's been like that for a while. But it's funny because in that clip, I, I looked that back at the clip. I made sure I looked back at it. And Mark Goldberg said in the first clip saying, F off Rashford is an abuse. Then in the second clip, right, I dug back to that Chelsea game where we lost 4-3. It was the last minute. Very, very, man, that game was wild. Very, very wild game. Very, very emotional game. And he said Rashford and Bruno can F off out the football club, right? You know, and all the players. He said that as well, all the players. But he specifically said Rashford and Bruno can F off out the club. He didn't say all the, he said all. Those players, he didn't say any of the other players in particular, but he made sure to say Rashford and Bruno can F off out the football club. Now, is that not targeting an abuse on Mr. Goldbridge? Come on, man. Like, it's very hypocritical. Very, then in the third clip, he kind of tries to save face. Well, not really. He tried to save face a little bit saying, well, if you say it during the game, it's passion. So which one is it? <laughs> you can't have it both ways. That's not how it works. I see right through that. You You can't. You can't have it both angles. That's that's not how it works. And we're definitely going to get into this headline. Uh, Mr. Chris Wheeler said earlier today, Marcus Rashford cannot be painted as an innocent victim when he is looking like the brash 315,000 pound a week footballer. We hoped he wasn't. They're talking about his new contract. Because he got a new contract. Now he's up to 315 grand. They have been talking about him in this in this money and all this stuff for a while now. Are these other guys not on wage, good wages? Is Maguire not on good wages? Luke Shaw? Are these guys on high wages? Aren't the Glazers known for giving players higher wages? So why isn't, oh, Luke Shaw is on 200,000 pounds a week. I'm pretty sure Luke Shaw's contract is high. Oh, Maguire's contract is, oh, he's on whatever, 190 a week. Why is it always with Marcus Rashford with this wages thing? It's crazy. All the time. They always talk about wages with certain players. Bruno, Rashford. Of Casimir Varane, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's crazy. The pocket watching is crazy. We hoped he wasn't. Now selling him is an option for Man United. So they're going to try to, you know, they're going to have the things. It's like, oh, he's going to end up leaving. He's going to go to PSG, this, that, and the third. I don't think he's going to leave, but there's a possibility he's going to leave. So we're going to be stuck with players like Maguire, Luke Shaw, Johnny Evans, um, whoever else, and we're going to get rid of Rashford, Bruno, Casemiro, Varon. So th this is the route we're going. <laughs> it's, it's crazy, man. I, it, this, this club is a circus. It's a circus. It's a, it's a comedy circus. It really, really is. You got people contradicting themselves. You got people talking about Rashford being on 315,000 pounds a week. The pocket watching is crazy. It's crazy. The pocket watching is crazy, man. 
It's absolutely crazy. Marcus Rashford op offers worrying update as he, as he speaks out over months of abuse. Marcus Rashford hits out at months of abuse in late night posts. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag reacts to Marcus Rashford. Now, this is what Ten Hag had to say. Ten Hag's sympathy for Rashford, right? This is what he said. I think... He needs the support. We all know what he's capable of. We have to support and push him. He can do better than this year. We saw last year he was really brilliant for Man United. So, Ten Hag coming out saying, <laughs> saying the cookie cutter stuff. What is Ten Hag going to say? He's going to come out and say what, the, what, you know, the media training stuff, what they tell him to say. He's not going to say anything out of context or anything like that. But, yeah, man, it's the same thing. People are saying ignore it, keep jogging, Rashford, keep jogging, because they're basically saying he's not running hard enough. He doesn't, he's not hustling. All this stuff. And then in the recent interview, they said um, about the Gary Neville interview where Rashford went and did that. They said, if you doubt me better. And people are lobbing that up in his face saying, well, you said if you doubt me better. So basically, you should be able to deal with it. You should be able to deal with people abusing you. You should be able to deal with this stuff. You should be able to deal with it. You're on 315,000 pounds a week, so deal with it then. And, and that, nah, man. That narrative, that angle, I, I know exactly what that is. That's, that's ludicrous, man. That's crazy. That's crazy stuff. You know, and people are lot, and twisting it, saying it's criticism. But people are making little cartoons on Rashford. People are making little videos on Rashford saying F off Rashford. All this stuff, man. All this stuff, this little slight stuff. It's wild, man. It's absolutely wild stuff. Wild, 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 wild stuff. It's crazy. All these scandals, all these stories and stuff. <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's absolutely crazy stuff, man. But I want you guys... So let me know in the comment section what you guys think, man. I would love to hear your input. Love to hear your feedback about this whole Marcus Rashford tweet situation. And yeah, it's been with you guys. Hope you guys all have a good Friday afternoon. And I'm out. Peace out.